Uh, let's talk about question number nine. I'm just gonna put my mobile phone on silent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the values of the terms of a geometric sequence GN are graphed over here. So which of the following is expressed is an expression for the nth term of the geometric sequence. So for the nth term of the geometric sequence, I would be needing the first term and the common ratio. Correct? Okay. Uh, there are two ways to solve this either we can reverse engineer and you know plug in the value of ns2 for instance it should give us in fact ns1 for instance so it should give us the value as 8 so we just plug in ns1 and see which one is giving us 8 and that ways we can just keep plugging in ruling out options and we can figure that out so i will, I will show first using this method if n is 1 then this will become 8 times 1 over 2 which is just 4 but I need 8 so this is not correct if n is 1 over here then uh, uh, 1 minus 1 will become 0 1 over 2 raised to 0 is just 1 which is just 16 so this is also not possible if I put 1 over here then this will become 8 times 2 raised to 1 minus 1 which is again uh, 2 raised to 0 which is again 2 raised to 0 is 1 which is again 8 so this is possible and if I put 1 over here actually that is also possible because this will become 4 times 1 over 2 raised to minus 1 which is 4 times 2 which is just 8 over here so this is also possible so we have ruled out two options from here and then let's try to put n as 2 and see which one is giving us 4. This will definitely not give us 4 because if you put n as 2, it will become 2 minus 1 which is 1 and 8 times 2 is just 16. In fact, we could have ruled out with an even more smart way because you can see that the terms are decreasing which means that the common ratio is less than 1. So clearly, this is the only one which is less than 1. This cannot be, it cannot be greater than 1. So B is also ruled out and the correct option is option A. That's one way. Another way if you want to do the traditional way is, of course, so you know the value of A1 already. It's given as uh, 8. You know the value of A2 is given as 4. So the common ratio will be A2 over A1, which will be 4 over 8, which is just 1 half. So we got the common ratio, we got the uh, first term, and it's very easy to write the nth term now. So the nth term is going to look like, uh, I'm going to need some space over here. Okay, the nth term is going to be a sub n is equal to a1 times r raised to n minus 1. So this will become 4 times 1 over 2 raised to n minus 1. If you feel like uh, a r raised to n minus 1. Okay. Uh, <laughs> made a mistake here. a is not 4, a is 8. That's why I was just getting a little confused so it's 8 times 1 over 2 raised to n minus 1 which is obviously not anywhere in the options so this can be rewritten as this can be rewritten as 8 can be written as 4 times 2 so it will be 4 times 2 times 1 over 2 raised to n minus 1 which can be written as 4 times 2 raised to or just 2 and 2 raised to 1 minus n you know just uh, powers are swapped this will become 4 times 2 raised to 2 minus n because the powers are being added now. And this can now be written as 1 over 2 raised to n minus 2. Because the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, as per the rules of exponents, we take the reciprocal of it and the power is just negative now. So uh, this is the conventional method. If you feel conventional method is pretty straightforward, go for it. Otherwise, you already know what the other method is. So both ways, you know the answer. All right.